Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, tonight for our second of three miles, we are running for a fallen correctional officer who have lost her life in the line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen correctional officer Helen May Smith. She worked with the North Carolina Department of Public Safety Division of Adult Corrections and Juvenile Justice, and her end of watch was February 3rd of 2022 and lost her life after suffering a fatal heart attack while responding to a domestic disturbance at the Puskatank C Correctional Inst Institution. She was 53 years old at the time of her passing, serving just three years as a correctional officer, and she leaves behind a husband and two children. Tonight, I'll be running with the gray line flag in her honor. And if any of you are new and, not, and are unknowing of what this flag is, this is the correctional officer flag. Uh, I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop by my school, which is the equivalent equivalent of a mile in her honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders and my whole family who are doing this run tonight with us. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of her whole family and department through the hard time I'm going through, and then I'll be on my way. Tune in this evening tonight. Zachary running his second mile of the night. This mile in honor of fallen correctional officer three, Helen May Smith. She worked with the North Carolina Department of Public Safety, Division of Adult Correction and Juvenile Justice. Her end of watch, February the 3rd, 2022. Tragically losing her life after suffering a fatal heart attack while she was responding to a disturbance at the Pasquotank Correctional Institution. 53 years old, having served in three years as a member of the North Carolina Department of Public Safety, and she leaves behind a husband two children. Zachary completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor Correctional Officer Smith tonight. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes. Despite the rain, they want to be here to help pay their tributes and respects to this hero. We want to thank the Civil County Sheriff's Office patrolling behind Zachariah tonight, our home county, as well as the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based on the Orlando International Airport, running with Zachariah and then Zachariah's little sister, Chloe. Once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a three-year veteran of the North Carolina Department of Public Safety's Division of Adult Correction and Juvenile Justice Department Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith. Tragically losing her life February the 3rd 2022 after suffering a fatal heart attack while she was responding to a disturbance at the Pasquotank Correctional Institution. 53 years old, leaves behind a husband and two children. Zachary completing his second lap to honor her tonight. He carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. Tonight, Zechariah carrying the gray line flag, which is the flag for our correctional officers. This flag will work its way to the family of correctional officer three, Helen May Smith, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the evening. If you'd like information on how you can be part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can also be a part of this mission. As Zachariah completes his third lap, starts his fourth lap, I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the runs. We reflect on the life of this hero, Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to the entire Smith family, especially her husband, as well as her two children. We know at least one of those children are watching this run tonight. We hope this run honors her well, and we thank her for her service. May we never forget Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith.
Zachary, any final words to the family of Fallen Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith? To the whole family of Fallen Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith, the whole entire Department of the North Carolina, North Carolina Department of Public Safety, especially the Division of Adult Correction and Juvenile Justice, um, as well as his, sorry, as well as her husband um, and, and ch two children, we hope you all heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. She was an incredible person, one who served uh, three years of service, and even though she served um, less time than she would have imagined, I know she saved many lives and um, did lots of great stuff in the department as she worked. I know that at least one of her children are watching tonight, and I'm sure the rest of her family are watching as well. Our prayers are going to continue to stay with you and your whole department and your family through this difficult time, through the passing of Correctional Officer 3, Helen May Smith. To the whole family, I'll be sending you this gray line flag we are tonight in your hero's honor, as well as a handwritten note that I have already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you decide to do with it, it hope, it hope you, we hope it brings you comfort knowing that there's people all around the globe supporting her family and her department. If all of you tonight join us in two things, first of all, a 21 second moment of silence. Just like the 21 gun salute each second day, kidding, what amazing things she did during her life, including as a correctional officer. Maybe also um, an accomplish, uh, maybe also a proud moment she made uh, with her family or department. Following that will also be a prayer. So if all of you please now bow our heads in this 21 second moment of silence to help the family department heal, please join us right now. Dear God, tonight we came out here to turn for a fallen correctional officer. She lost her life following a heart attack while responding to a domestic disturbance. God, being a correctional officer is definitely something that not a lot of people think um, is hard, but it's definitely a hard job. Um, lots of stresses and lots of things go into being a correctional officer. And just knowing that a correctional officer lost her life from a heart attack, God, what, bring all the family and department to this run tonight. Let them know that there's people supporting them throughout the globe and that even that we can keep her memory alive till we get to see her again in heaven. But at the same time, know that she's still here in spirit with us every single day. God, I know her spirit will forever be roaming around the correctional facility, uh, making sure everything is right, but up in heaven as well. God, thank you again. In, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in the second run. We have one more run to do, and the final one is for a fallen firefighter. If all of you please join us in, the, in that run, and mean a lot as well. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.